M0FXB, just a quick chat about the ICOM 705. M0FXB, just a quick chat about the ICOM 705. So a lot of people, you know, still say to me, why am I going to buy, you know, this radio? It's got no, you know, it's only 10 watts. Uh, it's got no built-in tuner. So, it, you know, it's, it's a valid point. And what I will say is, if you go out and buy an ICOM 7300, it's going to cost you £1,300. Uh, if you go and buy out a 9700, that's going to cost you um, near a, near a £2,000. So, you know, add that up. What you've got in this oh, very neat small package is everything, everything you're ever you're ever going to need. You know, you've got your, your D-Star capability using the DR mode, as you know. So if you have a listen here, here's your, your DR mode working. Just let someone talk. Oh, you sound like 50% uh, no. of you and 50% of a robot. <laughs> you know, listen to that audio. That is um, just coming through. That's cross-moded. As you know, it's not. It's using my DV Mega uh, direct into DCS 477B. A little low. I'm going to turn you up just a uh, little You bit listen to that audio. Uh, and I'll, I'll play it back audio. on a different radio. Right now, which is a, through, your, through a DV Mega module on a, on a Raspberry Pi. And uh, the old any tone 878. Doing well going through, um, through a DMR, through a actually, to be precise. But that seems to be going okay. Um, try and shout in certain way to... Until Paul gets up on the roof and sorts the antenna out, I don't think you're going to um, solve the problem unless he tests on a dummy mode um, for quite a while. I think that's probably the way forward. And monitor... ...on another system. ...with um, his output or input, whichever you like to call it. Um, without going up on the roof, spend a bit of time just keying up and, and keying up for, I don't know, two, three, four minutes at a time. Typical kind of... Home. So just listen to the audio that comes through. When I hear people speaking on on the 705, and they sound like different people, and they, it just sounds more like the real them. That's what it actually sounds like. Um, so, you know, then you've, you've got the tuner issue. I mean, you can go out now, you can buy an amp, stroke tuner you know all in one box for around 500 pound so if these are 1300 the tuners are 500 it's so 1800 pound and you might get some discount it's like you've got a 9700 and a 7300 in one box uh, and then you've got your built-in tuner and um uh, and amplifier i'll just see if i can get a picture of that so here's a picture of it it's not the best picture but it's described as a Zegu 100 watt HF 6 meter amplifier. And I, if I watch the review correctly, um, it includes a tuner. Let me just read the specs a bit more, but pretty sure it does. Yeah, so uh, here it is. The automatic tuner unit power amplifier. So it's, you know, it's ideal for all sorts of radios, but perfect for the, uh, the 705. And it's got quite a funky little screen on it. Um, so my point is that you can buy an amp and tuner. Just get back to the radio. Amp and tuner. So... You know, and then VHF UHF amplifiers, they're not they're not expensive. If anything, they're the they're the cheaper ones. Um I think you can get them for under two hundred pounds. So you get one of these, you've got your tuners. That tuner I just showed you has a SWR built in SWR meter as well, not that you need it, because you've got the the built the sort of SWR function here um within the seven oh as you go there look 
But your MySWR is quite high, let's try it. Oh, it's quite good. Let's get the power, yeah, it has got power. So it's, it's showing very good. No, maybe we should be in FM to actually test that. Um, FM, let's get off this band frequency. No, it must be good. I could be doing something wrong because I'm not concentrating. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, let's uh, have a quick listen to the speaker mic. At the moment, we're listening on on the the speaker that's in the radio. So that's the speaker in the radio, and then what you do is the uh, second part of the plug here, you just plug it into the jack, a bit fiddly. Okay, it's in. So we'll turn up the speaker mic. There you go. It's a bit of a tinny sound. What I tend to do is hold it to my ear anyway. Um, and it will go so quiet, I can, and it sounds funny, but it goes so quiet, I can lie in bed and, and put it to my ear and uh, no, no one else can hear it. We'll just quickly flick through my, some of my memory channels. See what's about. So that's, these are just local links that are quite strong to where I live. I'm just using a collinear in the loft at the moment. Let's go to the other one. Um. Now to change the step, you hold that. Let's do it to, uh, you've actually got two menus on this. There you go, we'll do it to that, it'll be a bit quicker. And that's the input of WR. So if we go on the output in a minute, GB3WR. Turn the squelch right down. Let's see if we get anyone. I had that one. No, we're not getting loads of people. So, what I'm saying is that, yeah, you pay the one price. If you end up, you know, if you decide to buy the tuner, um, so yeah, you've spent 1,800 quid, but you have this radio that literally does everything. I'll, I'll put it on HF in a sec. And um, um, as you know, this, this radio does all digi modes and it, it does it so well. Um, obviously, you've got the picture transfer thing, which is picture mode there, where you can send pictures without any computer connected. It just you connect to the reflector and you send, <clears throat> and the setup is quite easy. You know about terminal mode, which is basically the future of ICOM 
connection and it doesn't mean it's bypassing hotspots but it's going to be a, a real fun part of the hobby so menu set I don't think where terminal mode is it's menu could be function function 2 no need to remember how you get it in terminal mode it is really simple I just can't remember I'll come back to that but let's get it on HF a minute so we just go menu scope so there's us listening away on uh, two meters. We decide to go to HF, so we just go, we just tap the, let's get back into VFO mode. Um, let's get the scope on the full screen. So here we are, you know, we haven't moved from our radio. You could have your antennas on a, a switcher and then we can just tune through. Sounding very good. Just on a G5RV at the moment. Now I've got a tuner and it works fine. I've got an 8100 Pro 2. And that's the other thing, most of us, you know, we go, oh, it hasn't got a built-in tuner, but most of us have got a tuner. Very rare I meet a ham that hasn't got a tuner. And nearly all of them will work. It might not connect to the interface cable without um, looking into if you can get a cable. But they'll connect via the, uh, you know, the patch lead and use the RF um, and to, to tune. So let's just... Have a quick look at 80, but normally I've got a lot of local QRM. You can hear my, all the LCD TVs here. But if I go and turn them all off, this all becomes clear. And I don't really get it too bad on 20. But then again, yeah, I do today. Anyway, my main point is you can get straight onto HF. So you've gone from, you know, VHF, you've gone from HF, you hold this radio here, you go into DR mode. Um, on the side, you've got your connector there. Sorry about that. For adding your, you know, mini USB cable connect straight to your PC to get you onto all the digi modes which works well interface cables there for tuners and am amplifiers so to me it's a no-brainer to buy this radio um, yeah um, sell some of the equipment you've got that you're not even using to get it um, get a good deal I'll do a separate video about that amplifier because that amplifier looks so perfect. It's really tempting to have that. Um, if I didn't have the seven, the Icom Seven Three Hundred, um, I would buy that. I would get the amplifier, um, hundred percent. So, in summary, what I'm saying is, it's a fantastic radio. It's, uh, it's to me, it's the best radio I've ever used. Um, in this price range because you know we can go out and spend five thousand pounds six thousand pounds on a hf radio but, but i'm not a contester most of it you know most of us are listeners we just sit here and we listen around and we have the odd occasional chat um you know and that 97 percent of the time we don't even speak so and this radio is just perfect for that and the fact that you can just chuck it in the car and you fancy driving to a field um you know or just parking your car and using a car mounted antenna for hf uhf vhf and just play radio with this amazing scope screen and the functionality of this radio i i just think it's a no-brainer so just a this is literally just a chat about the the 705 
and um, please uh, subscribe add yourself to my channel and keep up to to uh, what I get up to and then we send me any messages you want so we can uh, uh, just chat about our hobby m0fxb73